Does anyone in your family have Alzheimer's disease or maybe you know someone that has a family member that has Alzheimer's? Uh, my grandmother has suffered with Alzheimer's for about 10 years now. So I'm here today just to tell you a little bit more about Alzheimer's disease. Um, I am going to tell you what the disease is, what some warning signs are to look for, as well as some treatments to help the symptoms. Um, so I'm going to start with what Alzheimer's is. According to the National Institute of Aging, Alzheimer's is an irreversible, progressive um, brain disorder that slowly destroys memory, thinking skills, and eventually the ability to do simple daily tasks such as going to the bathroom, showering, eating. Um, a majority of people who have the disease, their symptoms don't show until their mid-60s. Mid this is con considered to be the late onset of Alzheimer's. Um, early onset starts to show symptoms around age 30, mid 30s, um, but this is something that is very, very rare. Um, now, Alzheimer's is actually named after the doctor who discovered it. Um, as reported by the National Institute of Aging in 1906, Dr. Alzheimer's noticed changes in the brain tissues of a woman who had died of reported unusual mental illness. Um, Dr. Alzheimer's examined her brain after she had passed and found abnormal clumps um, called plaques, as well as tangled bundles of fiber, and those are referred to as tangles. Imagine that. <laughs> um, my grandma, like most, starts showing her signs around 68. Um, my grandma's now 78. And her memory loss was very slow at first. It seemed just to be normal, you know, old age memory loss. Um, these days her symptoms are progressing faster and faster. At first, um, she was just having to make lists so she could remember what she had to get done throughout the day. Um, then it was not being able to drive because she got lost on her way home from the grocery store, even though she'd been living in this town for 40 plus years. Um, and then it progressed to repeating the same four or five things uh, every 10 to 15 minutes. It's honestly been one of the hardest things to watch. Um, I wish that we would have known some warning signs to look for. That way we could have helped slow the progression of my grandma's Alzheimer's. Uh, on the CDC website, there are 10 warning signs um, that they go over. It also mentions if anyone has three or more of these signs that they should go to the doctor and um, get checked out. The first one I'm going to go through is memory loss. Um, this is memory loss that disrupt, disrupts your life. Um, you forget things like events, you repeat yourself or um, rely on a lot of things like notes, sticky notes, lists to help you remember things. Memory was the first thing to go with my grandma. Um, it was not long after she started forgetting her children, her grandchildren's birthdays. Um, she started repeating herself every 10 to 15 minutes. She used to be able, or excuse me, I used to be able to change the subject um, and she'd kind of quit repeating herself. But now even if I try to change the subject, it's, you know, the same four or five phrases or conversations over and over. Um, another thing, another warning sign to look for is challenges in planning and problem solving. Um, I wish we would have noticed this sooner with my grandma as well. She has trouble with things like paying the bills, balancing the checkbooks, um, cooking recipes that she's cooked pretty much since she was 18. Um, my grandpa actually had to start balancing the checkbook because you know, my grandma pays all the bills and um, you know, she balances the checkbook and my grandpa would go to the store and use their debit card and there wouldn't be any money because she was balancing the checkbooks wrong. 
So my grandpa took over doing that. Um, something else that I would like to talk about, a uh, warning sign is confusing um, time and place. And I mentioned this before, but um, my grandmother actually had to quit driving because she got lost. She's lived in this town for 45 plus years and knows it like the back of her hand. Um, getting to the grocery store is literally two right turns and she called my grandpa crying hysterically because she had no idea where she was. Um, the last warning sign I want to talk about would be misplacing things um, and not being able to retrace your steps to find them. Most of us, you know, will misplace something. Oh, where did I put that? And oh, let's go back to where, you know, where I started. We'll, you know, retrace our steps. But um, my grandma, she, she can't really do this. I know most recently something that she did, she put all of her bowls in her cup cupboard and then got very upset at my grandpa because she thought he moved them and she couldn't find them. Um, so my grandpa told her, you know, Melva, they're, they're in the cup cupboard. And she just kind of blew it off like, oh, silly me. You know, just like it was nothing. Even though she realizes that, you know, things are different and that she doesn't really have a good memory. She doesn't want to admit that these things are going on. Uh, unfortunately, sadly enough, I wish there was, you know, a cure. So I didn't have to watch my grandma go through this. But there is no treatment for the disease itself. There's only things to help with symptoms and to slow the progression. Uh, according to brightfocus.org, there are some medications available that help control um, or delay symptoms. And these medications seem to work better during the early stages of Alzheimer's. So I don't believe that any of these medications would really help my grandma right now. I feel like she's more in like the mid to late stages. Um, behavioral and environmental strategies can also be used to reduce stress in the sufferer's daily activities. <clears throat> so, you know, a lot of times it comes to a point where these people wake up in their homes and they don't know where they're at. They can't remember their husband's, you know, where their bathroom is, where their laundry is, and just doing things to kind of help them ease that stress makes their lives a lot easier. Um, Alzheimer's is such a hard disease to watch someone go through. You, know, you just sit there and there's there's literally nothing you could do for them, just, just other than be there for them. Um, it's probably one of the hardest things that I've ever had to just sit back and watch something happen to my grandma. She raised me, she was my mother. And just knowing that there's nothing I could do to help her really just kills me inside. Um, my grandma's progression for the most part has been a slow progress. But these last few years, it's definitely moved more quick than, you know, even I would like to admit. Um, I just really hope that one day we can find a treatment for this disease. We could figure yeah. out, um, you know, how to stop this disease once someone has it or even, you know, early interventions. So I hope you learned something and thank you for listening.